meal to the prep. We're doing a fat loss meal prep. <laughs> you like my rap? No comment. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to share with you a tasty and simple meal prep for easy fat loss. I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years, and meal prep was one of the reasons I was so successful. Anytime that I didn't prep my meals on my weight loss journey, I ended up overeating, eating things I didn't plan on, and going way off track. So simple and tasty meals, like I'm gonna show you how to prep today, are what not only helped me get and keep the results, because I looked forward to my meals and I always had meals to eat to be successful, they're also helping me, meal prep is also helping me get in the best shape of my life and lose body fat right now. And in four weeks, I'm already down about six pounds and I'm getting lean, but not mean. So I'm in a prep, uh, I have been craving burgers and fresh fruit because I eat a lot of frozen fruit. So today we're gonna prep some burgers, some fresh fruit, and gonna have some cheese on the side. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna use lean ground beef. I've got two big packs here. You guys can use whatever, like you'll just have to change the calories around if you use extra lean or lean turkey or whatever you wanna use. We're gonna use for fruit, pineapple and cantaloupe. I'm also gonna slice up some bananas for some anabolic ice cream. And then this is the cheese that I'm gonna be measuring out for the days. I'm gonna make about six days worth Three for me, three for Sasseru behind the camera. You can make all six for yourself, or you can do like me and Sass and do free and free. So let's do this. After we do all the prepping, I'm gonna show you how I divide it up for the week in containers. And then I'm also gonna tell you the calories of the meal and um, show you how I do the bananas up in the, for the freezer to get ready for anabolic ice cream. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it, burger time. Eee! All right, the friends, the burgs are done. So we used three pounds of lean beef. And what I did was I measured out the burgers in five ounce burgers raw so that they would cook up to four ounce burgers cooked. I did five minutes per side, medium high heat, and I did spray the pans with cooking spray lightly so that nothing would stick. And I ended up making nine four ounce burgers and one three ounce burger. So we're gonna have a few extra left over for some more days. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put a burger in each container. This is like the odd man out container cause I ran out of the pink ones. Um, I got these at Walmart cause friends always ask. And I put salt and pepper on the tops of the burgers when I was cooking them. So each container is going to get one four ounce burger because Sassy and I eat the same dinner. Our breakfast and stuff is different, but the dinner is the same. So there we go. There's three days for Sass and three days for me. And then the extra burgers, I'm gonna put in this container for use for another few days. And now I'm gonna put some cheese in the little dividers. I'm gonna use 30 grams of cheese. It's about 120 calories, so I'm gonna chop it and weigh it out and you'll see me do that. Then we can either eat it separate or we can melt it on our burger. Depending on the day, I like to do either or. So, what are you gonna do, Sass? Uh, I'm gonna put your favorite and mine, some low sugar or no sugar added ketchup or mustard or both on them, I think. Mmm, and then are you gonna eat the cheese separate? Yes. Me too. Then you feel like you get more food. Yeah. So you probably seen that we had two big packs of ground beef. One made all of these burgers. The other pack, we're gonna save it and just brown it up in, the, in a pan later and use it for quesadillas, wraps, anything like that. We're just gonna basically cook it all in a pot, freeze it, and then use it for other weeks and days to come. 
And now let's do the cheese. So this is a brick from Walmart, and if you look on the back, 30 grams is 120 calories. So that is what I'm going to do. And hopefully this helps you guys like portioning out, measuring. This is how we do it, because I know a lot of you ask, well, we look at the back, what a serving size is, um, cut it up, measure it out on a food scale, it doesn't have to be a fancy one. Yeah, because, um, you know, you can literally eat whatever you want. We lost all the weight through portion control. Sassy and I have both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for the same amount of years, seven. And this is how we do it. We look at the back, um, the nutrition labels, and we measure it all out. And then we eat in portion. Not only does that help us lose weight, the portion control, but it saves money too. All right, so I've got a bit chopped up and now I'm just gonna weigh out 30 grams. And I, like Nicole said, we have the same dinner, but I'm a lot bigger than Nicole, so I do require more protein, more calories. So my breakfast is a lot bigger, for an example. So I'm gonna zero out the scale and then I'm just gonna measure out 30 grams of cheese for every container. And it's okay, like that's 31. I'm not gonna get super picky. I just want a ballpark. Because as we tell you guys, calories are ballpark. Nothing's like, you know, scientifically perfectly accurate. So we just try to do the best we can. Yeah, and it's the consistency of eating in portion or eating calories that makes the difference. If you have one extra calorie for one day, it's it's not gonna make a massive difference. It's consistency. <laughs> Done the cheese? Da, 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 da. I'm done the cheese. So we got all our cheese burgers ready to go. Now to go with it, I'm going to chop up some fresh fruit and then measure up two cups of fresh fruit per dinner. Let's do it. <laughs> chopped up, I put it in containers for now. I'm gonna measure out two cups of fresh fruit per container, and then this will be the dinner. Two cups of fruit, a burger, and some cheese for a total of about 520 calories per meal. And you know, we've got extra burgers, we'll probably have some extra fruit, and this will be our dinner for three nights this week. And then I'm gonna show you what I do with the bananas. So first I'm gonna measure out a cup of pineapple for each container. That was actually perfect. I'm just gonna divide out the last like couple pieces there. And then now we'll do one cup of cantaloupe per container. And again, it's just a ballpark and that's cool with us. Worked out pretty perfect, a, <laughs> a cantaloupe. And uh, was it two cantaloupes or? That was two cantaloupes and one pineapple. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm just gonna throw, I think I under cut the cantaloupe there. Okay, so the remainder we're probably gonna put in our Greek yogurt because we have that for a snack with fruit. So we'll do, save that for another day. And then I'm gonna slice up these bananas into some containers because we like using frozen fruit every day with the Huddled protein powder, the harder than last time protein. It's Greg Doucette's supplement line. The link is down below if you wanna get yourself some. We make anabolic ice cream, basically high protein ice cream out of fruit and protein powder every day for dessert. If you want the recipe, we have recipes for it in our guilt-free cookbook, and Greg has some in his Anabolic Cookbook 2.0. Links for both those books are down below, so check it all out. I'm gonna get to slicing. Use a cutting board, I'm gonna use my Greg's hand. recipes have the fruit in their anabolic, in the anabolic ice cream, and ours do not have fruit. No, ours has pudding. It's like well, our own version. Pumpkin, too. And pumpkin, yes. Uh -huh. Is pumpkin a fruit? I think so. Okay, so yeah. ours have some fruit. If pumpkin's a fruit, if not, sure. then ours don't. Let us know, is pumpkin a fruit? All right, let's cut these bananas. 
Yeah, and then this container is gonna go right in the freezer. Yes. Um, you can buy the bananas pre-frozen at the store and pre-chopped, but it's more expensive. This way, all these bananas cost us $2, and all you have to do, once they're frozen, you just have to break them up a little bit with like a spoon or a butter knife, and then they're good to go. Then you can scoop them and measure them out. All right, that made a lot of banana pieces for two bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So the friends, this is it. This was our simple tasty meal prep for easy fat loss. And guess what? Now that the video is done and all the food's made, we're gonna go eat some of this for dinner. What? So if you wanna know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we also have two weight loss guides. Links are down below for those. Check it all out. The guilt-free cookbook, of course, is down there for anabolic ice cream and other low-calorie recipes. It is all low-calorie versions of your favorite foods. You get the taste, but not the guilt and extra cows. Like if you like burgers, for example, we've got a Big Nick in there yes. recipe, a copy of a Big Mac. We've got a copy of a Baconator. You can make your burgers fancy too, and low calorie. Oh yeah, so check it out, the friends, or you can watch these two videos for free to make weight loss easy AF, or easy as a baby seal in French, Google it. And now we're gonna lawn more out, run, run, run. Whoa. And this is a beam with this PG for you to wiggle. <laughs> we're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, like your mama made it, oh yeah. Time for food. Love you. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video. Oh, I could keep going. <laughs> I think we'll end it here. Thanks for coming out. Love ya. Peace. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Do 